Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to today's video. So today I have all my pencils out here on my makeup desk. I have my lip pencils and basically all like my pencil eyeliners. And lately these past couple weeks I've been in such a decluttering mood and I kept telling myself don't do it hold back like you have to film this because I love filming declutters for you guys you can see exactly what I got rid of and my thought process behind it and everything and it's just fun to film the clutter I love watching declutters too it's just super relaxing almost so here are all my pencils my pencil jar which here it is I got this from the Target dollar spot like two years ago. It was getting way too full. I couldn't even push the pencils down anymore and I was just getting overwhelmed. I knew I have eye pencils and lip pencils that are like old that I have to get rid of. I'm gonna hopefully cut down these pencils right here and make my collection a little bit more condensed. And if you guys like videos like this, different declutters, please let me know what you want me to declutter next. Comment down below and also please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's get on into my pencil declutter. So I'm going to start out with this side and I'm going to pick up these guys right here. So these are my Wet n Wild lip liners and then I also have a Maybelline one here. And these are so good you guys for the price point. They're only like $2.99. Look how stinking creamy they are. Right when you put them on it's just oh my gosh. It's so nice. And these are two of my favorite shades. I have another one there to comment. I'm not sure where it is. But this one is Think Flamingos and Never Petal Down. And then I also have this one here called Plum Together. And I really like this one because I could wear it in the winter and the fall with my plum lip shades. So I don't wear those too often. But it's nice to have an affordable lip liner option. And I don't think I've used this one yet. But let's just swatch it. It actually looks like I swatched it. But... I don't think I've actually used it yet because I don't use too many dark lips. Like this one right here I'm keeping also. This is from Maybelline. It's their Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Purely Nude. And I swatched it here. It's a little, hopefully you guys can see it. It's just like a really nice nude shade. I'm definitely keeping all four of these. I'm not going in order of like eyeliners or lip liners. I'm just kind of picking things up as I go. Then I have all my Jordana lip liners that I love. I use these all the time. This one is Tawny. Um, which was like a recommendation years ago from Carly Bybell. And then I have, what the heck, I have two of the same color? Yeah, I have two of the same color. Clearly I liked it if I got two of the same one. This one right here is Pink Love. Um, I mainly use Rose Crush and Tawny, but um, I definitely want to start using Pink Love a little bit more. I did a swatch over here so you guys can see. It's a really pretty color. But I am definitely going to keep all of these. I love the formula. I think these are only... Two, three dollars. They're so worth it. The formula is really nice and these nude shades are awesome. So I don't know which one is newer. The packaging is like slightly different in color. It's really weird. So this is this one. Okay. They look like different colors. Like this one, they're very similar, but this one on the left looks a little bit lighter. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm crazy. Ugh. I really shouldn't keep both, but I guess I will for now. This is so counterproductive. Next up I have a ultra rich color lip pencil from Note Cosmetics and I actually don't love the formula on this. This is just an 03 nude so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Then I have this collab Killer Cole self sharpening eye pencil. This is a knockout and I like that it kind of twists up. This is also really nice. I just did a swatch of it. It's like a really dark brown shade. I'm going to keep this because it's newer to my collection and I haven't used it as much as I would like to. I have this Mally lip liner. This is in crimson. I just feel like I'm never going to wear this. I'm going to do a swatch right here. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one because I know I'm not going to use it. Oh my gosh, this eyeliner is so old. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I used to be obsessed with this product. It's like OG YouTube days. This is the Color Extend Eyeliner and Morning Coffee. I think I actually got this from my local like flea market where they sell makeup. I don't even know. Ooh, look at that. It actually like it's not as crusty as I thought it was gonna be. I put a swatch right there. It's actually not that bad, but I feel like it's so old that I honestly should just get rid of it and get a new one because I have this Prestige Total Intensity Eye Color Pencil in Fierce Blue. This is actually a pretty color. I feel like I haven't reached for it in so long. But it's really like, kind of like a sapphire blue. It's really pretty. I want to hang on to it. Okay, this pencil is so long. Does anyone like notice that? This is the Longwear Eye Pencil from Sigma in Wicked. And this is the same, I guess, type of deal as their Wicked Eyeliner, which I haven't used, but I heard is really good. Um, so this is cool because you just twist it up and it's 
like retractable on its own you don't have to sharpen it so i'm going to hold on to this because i literally just got this from them in pr clearly you can tell what my favorite pencil is this is the rimmel nude 05 um eye pencil i love this eyeliner so much i use it almost every day it's just the perfect nude waterline pencil and I go through these like water. <laughs> Another favorite, but this is definitely a little bit more on the lighter side. So you can see the difference between those two right there. This is much lighter, but it's still really pretty. If you guys are interested in this, it's a really affordable, good nude liner pencil. This is in Silky Nude from Essence. Then I have this Marc Jacobs. I think it's his highlighter gel eyeliner. And I feel like so many people rave about these. I just, I don't love this like I feel like it's just okay I don't know I'm not obsessed with it this is a pencil that I haven't used too much I use it in like one video it's the Maybelline lasting drama light liner this is in twinkle black I think this is supposed to just kind of have like a shimmery effect to it oh it's really creamy yeah it has like this blue kind of shimmer to it it's really pretty I might keep it around and play with it a bit more because I feel like I haven't given it enough love next up I have this pencil from wet and wild this is to my yang it's like a white um shimmery pencil actually I'm gonna get rid of this because it's way too shimmery I like more of a matte light color in my waterline I feel like these pearly kind of shades like aren't flattering on my waterline so I'm gonna declutter this is a lip liner I think this is Milani yeah this is the true instant color in 04 another nude shade so it's definitely like a little more on the dry side um I guess I'll keep it around and give it another try and if I don't like it then I'll declutter it again I just think I like more creamy lip pencils this is a pencil from Gosh, which is a UK brand. This is the Velvet Touch Eyeliner in Metallic Brass. Um, let's see what this looks like. It's pretty. It has like a gold shimmer running throughout it, but honestly, I'm not going to use this. I just know I'm not. I haven't used it in the past, um, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is another Jordana lip liner. I forgot to, I think I, did I forget to show you guys this one? Yeah, this is Rock and Rose, another favorite shade. It's just like the perfect pinky brown nude. Definitely keeping this one. This is so nice, honestly, to just go through all my pencils and like finally get a good look at them. I feel like I haven't been able to see them because they've been in that jar. Um, but this is the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in Sweetheart. And this is more of like a bright pink. Wow. It's so creamy, my gosh. I'm definitely, uh, I think, going to keep this because it feels like a really nice formula. And you guys know I love to give you guys good opinions on drugstore products. And then I have this Essence Lip Liner in Cute Pink. And I think this is more of like that woodeny pencil. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this one. I don't like the formula. It's a little too dry for me. This is so old, but it brings back memories of when I was first getting into makeup like 2008 when the MAC collections were huge and everyone was like excited when a new MAC collection came out. This is the MAC Black Russian Pearl Glide Eyeliner and these were so popular. Oh I guess I just sharpened it because it has really nice point to it. Oh my gosh it's like bringing back so many memories of like OG YouTube days. This is so pretty. It's like a black and blue and it has this really nice blue shimmer in it. I just have to keep this even though I know it's older because uh, it just brings back memories for me. I used to be obsessed with this pencil. This is the Stila uh, Kajal Eyeliner in Onyx. It's really creamy and pigmented so I'm going to hold on to this. This is the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen. This is in Velvet Violet and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and unique. I don't have a pencil like this, so I want to keep this around. And also, it's more new to my collection. Next up is this I Define Waterline from Pixie. This is in Tightline Black. I have the um, nude version of this. I'm not sure where that is, but this one I have to definitely uh, use a bit more. It's newer to my collection, um, so I have to play around with this. I usually don't use these on my upper lid because my eyes and my face are just too greasy. This is more of a waterline. Actually, it is for your waterline specifically. Um, so I definitely uh, want to play around with this more, my waterline. This I already know I'm getting rid of. It's the Milani Liquify Blue Pencil. It's just like not a blue that I'm interested in. It's more of like a... I don't even know what you would call that. I just, I don't want to wear a color like that. I like more of like a deep blue, a sapphire blue. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. This is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Damsel. And I think this is a brown. This came in one of the palettes I got from them. 
but honestly it's not even like is it twisting up there we go okay this is also like a brown shade hmm okay that actually is really nice but these are so similar like this one and the deck of scarlet one I feel like I shouldn't keep both okay I'm gonna go ahead and keep the Stila one and get rid of the deck of scarlet one because I figure you guys can't even get this anymore because it was limited edition but you probably can still get the Stila one um so that's my my reasoning behind it this is the Kylie lip liner in candy k and it's like totally popped out of its little home um let's do a swatch actually this is kind of pretty I'm gonna hold on to this this I barely use this is another one of those like pearly shades um this is from la colors i think i got this at imat this is in let's see uh whiten is the shade i'm gonna declutter this as well this is the nyx lip liner in nude pink another pretty nude shade and it's just like a standard color that you could wear on a daily basis. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this. This is another MAC Pearl Glide eyeliner. This is in the shade Rave. Again, this is like another color that I was so obsessed with. It has the most gorgeous purple shimmer running throughout it. And I think I just have to hold on to it. Pro Fusion Matte Lip Liner in Matte Peach. I just want to see what this looks like actually that's really pretty it's not as bright as I thought it was gonna be so I will keep this around in case I ever do like a peachy toned lip this is another nude lip liner that I used to absolutely love this is in topaz and I use this so much it's so creamy it's it's just a really good waterline pencil so I'm actually gonna hold on to this this is from Kativa. it's a nude lip pencil honestly i'm just gonna get rid of this i feel like i already have so many nudes and i don't even know what this brand is i know it sounds terrible but i'm just gonna declutter it because i don't need another one this is a nyx faux black um pencil in black olive and i feel like i never use this but let's see yeah i feel like i'm never gonna use this so i'm gonna declutter it this is a cargo swimmables um eye pencil in black c it's a little bit skippy, like it's not smooth like my other black eyeliners that I own, so I'm going to declutter it. This is from a brand called Bella Pierre. This is their gel lip liner in cinnamon. And let's just do a swatch. It doesn't feel that smooth, like it kind of has like this dragging feel to it, so I'm going to declutter it. I'm also going to get rid of this NYX retractable lip liner. This is in pinky beige. It's just too pink. I don't know, I just feel like it's not a good lip liner. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I'm making progress. Um, this is another Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliner from MAC. And this is another, like, really, look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's stunning. It's so smooth and just the most beautiful green shade. I'm going to go ahead and keep this as well. I think this is actually in their permanent collection. You guys can still get it if you are interested. Yeah. Bold Faced Eyeliners from Collab. And these are from Sally Beauty. I have here flaunt which is like a blue then i have the shade eco which is like a copper and then this deeper blue called fearless i'll actually swatch them so you guys can see what they look like this one actually um this blue one that i just swatched this is totally a dupe for those mac pearl glide liners this is like a coppery kind of shade I actually think I'm going to get rid of the copper one because I just feel like I'm not going to use it and then this is like the purpley shade I'm going to actually keep these two because I want to play around with them a little bit more and they could also be included in like a dupes video this is the Tarte skinny smolder eyes pencil in golden tiger's eye I'm actually just going to go ahead and declutter this one because it looks like one of those reddish shades and I don't think these are flattering on me. This is a hot mess. <laughs> this is this old Jordana eyeliner. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. It looks so crusty and old. I'm going to declutter this as well. It's a Jordana Easy Line for eyeliners in sea green. And I'll just do a swatch. I mean, it's really pretty. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. Okay, I might hold on to this for a little bit more. <laughs> the only thing is these colors... The green, if you put in your waterline, it gets stuck in your inner corner and then you have like green eye boogers and it's really gross. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'll hold on to this for a little more. This is a Mali um, lip liner in bright pink. What does this look like? Could be a good, ooh, it's not a good formula. It's so dry, it barely even 
uh, did anything. So I'm gonna get rid of this because the formula is dried out and not good. This is the Jordana Fabi Brow. This is not a <laughs> um, lip pencil or eye pencil, but I'm actually gonna declutter this because the color is just too dark for me. This is a blink eye pencil in black. I'm gonna declutter this one as well. I just don't need another black eyeliner. Then I have the AOA Studio lip liner. I just got this the other day in the mail, so I'm going to hold on to this. These are my favorite eyeliners for the waterline. That is why I own basically every single color that they make. They are so good. They last all day. I love the different colors that they have. I have, let's see, um, linen, honeydew, white smoke, um, seashell, this one mint cream looks stunning. If you have blue and green eyes, must get that. Then I have vanilla and then I have lavender blush. So this is my little collection of the NYX Full White Eye Pencils. These are my favorite. <laughs> I hope they come out with even more shades because I will buy them all. And I have this Prestige Total Intensity Eyeliner in Outrageous Emerald. And I'm just, the greens always get me. I don't know what it is. Like, ooh. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I have to keep it because it's oh, it's just too pretty to get rid of. This is another Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen. This is in black. And I'll just do a swatch of this. Oh gosh, that is holy creamy. That was intense. I will keep this guy around. This is one I just got if you guys watch Budget Beauty Buys. This is Pink Moscato. Actually, it's so weird. This color, it actually pulls like a little bit purple. I thought it was going to be more pink. It's still really pretty. It just pulls a little bit purple on my lips. I have this NYX lip liner in mauve. Definitely a favorite. Um, I use this a ton. It's a really good neutral like dark mauve color. Another favorite. This is Max World Lip Pencil. I wear this all the time. It's just like a perfect nude shade. It's definitely more on the dry side, which I don't love. I actually want them to come out with like a retractable version of their pencil. I think that would be really cool. Perfect Point Plus Eyeliner in Black Onyx. Um, I tried using this the other day and I just like wasn't obsessed with it. Like it's not terrible. I just, I don't know. It wasn't that great. I feel like I have so many other good waterline pencils. My collab Bold Face Liner in Drama Queen. This is another black. I'm going to keep this one. I've been using this a lot. Then I have this Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner. This is like another one of those like pearly shades. I just don't think these look flattering in my waterline, so I'm gonna declutter this one. Um, this is the Smashbox, the nude lip pencil in Fair. Um, this is just okay. I feel like it doesn't make a difference on my lips. It just blends in, so I'm gonna declutter that. Then I have this Essence Satin Mauve lip liner. It's so dry feeling, so I'm going to declutter this one. This is the Wet n Wild You're the Yin pencil. This is like a black. Um, it's like a good drugstore option, so I guess I'll keep it around for that purpose. Then I have this Julep Gel Glide Eyeliner. I'm going to declutter this one. I never reach for it. I have one more odd guy out. This is the Osmosis Eye Pencil in black. What does this look like? So deceiving because the packaging is like not black. Um, it's actually pretty creamy and pigmented and more black than these two shades right here. So I guess I will hold on to this. Okay, we finally reached the end. I have here my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencils. So this one is Double Life. We have Lucky, Overdrive, and then we have Goldmine. So the one that I think is not like wearable like is this Goldmine color. And it's definitely pretty and interesting. It's just, I feel like I'm never gonna wear it. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one and I'm gonna keep these three. This is like a darker bronze shade. This is more of like a coppery shade, Lucky. And then this green overdrive is a really pretty green. Just like gorgeous, would look really nice on anyone with green eyes. So I'm keeping these. This is everything that I am getting rid of over here, which I think is a pretty decent amount. We have here, whoop, can you guys even see this? These are all the ones that I am keeping. All right, so I'm pretty happy here with what I decluttered. I got rid of a ton of stuff and I feel like I made room for new stuff in my collection. So I'm pretty happy that I decluttered all these and I feel like I made room for new stuff in my collection. I feel like 
I just have a clear more sense of what's in my collection and stuff that I wasn't using I got rid of. So I am very happy with this declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. Comment down below and I will do more declutters. There are definitely more coming soon because I am in a cleaning mood for sure. And I just like want to get rid of a bunch of stuff that I'm not using. So anything I, I get rid of, if it's junky, like really old, I'll throw it out. And anything that's still good, I give to like family and friends who will enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.